Hi Gemini, this is your monthly love reading for the month of April 2020. All right, let's start. I'm going to place four cards for your relationship, for both of you, just to see dynamics of your relationship. And then I'm going to put at the bottom cards to see what you are about and the cards on top to see what your partner is about this month. Okay, the moon. And then, and then the world. Two of Rhodes, Eight of Swords, right, Gemini. It's a Three of Swords. Look how unlucky, how unhappy card for energy for this month uh, as you're influencing energy. You were hurting here, yeah, really, your heart was bleeding there. You didn't like this moment. Whatever there was that influencing your month of April, something was there that really hurt you. It was really hurtful. Is it now in the middle? Okay, <laughs> good. All right, let me lay down this your card because I really don't like three swords. It's your influencing energy you get into this month. I understand this moon, it's doubts. It's not trusting this relationship in here. It says we don't trust each other. You don't know exactly what is going on. Neither you that you can trust another person, neither another person that trusts you. You don't show, you know, it's not that you're lying or so, it's just you don't want to show yourself. You know, once when you're hiding, let me first see what another one going to do, what another one going to say, what another one feels and thinks. Another one is in the same mode. You know, that kind of, that's the moon. You are not showing, you are not uh, allowing nothing of yourself to get out in the clear. So, of course, in the moon card in your relationship. And I do understand if you were hurt, that was hurting, but it, it is overall energy of your relationship. Perhaps you too... I don't know where you're fighting, or, but something was a very un unhappy. It wasn't really a happy relationship coming into this month. Something was unhappy. Though it's, it's a world is there, uh, perhaps you're completing this situation. The situation will be over. Let's see. Let me see your energies. Right. Gemini, you've got the lovers. It's your energy. That's your... You love this way you feel good in here that's your energy so you're good gemini six of swords with the world two of roads with temperance okay eight of swords in here with two of cups all right gemini nice 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 the moon look at this gemini i'm telling you you kind of it was some hurtful situation and you didn't want to show much of yourself let me see this person um, but the lovers it tells me you love to have this relationship you you would love to move on with this relationship look this is beautiful ultimate love card ultimate love energy the lovers angel is on top looking on top of you you're making a decision and you want to you you love this person or you know, you would love to have this relationship with this person. That's what it says in here. You would love it. It's all right. Let's sort it out. Let's fix it. And you would love to move into, yeah, at the, you know, when I said let's fix it, you would love to move into the uh, calmer waters. You don't want difficulties in this relationship. It seems it was enough difficulties. You look, influencing energy are not really happy there for you. Not at all. You know, there is some manipulations, lies, something was there. Something was there and you want to move away from there. You don't want to fight. Like, I'm not going to fight. All right, I'm happy to move on with this relationship. I'm happy with us. It's all right. Whatever difficulties it was, let's just don't decide. Let's not discuss about it. Let's not, not talk about it. Let's leave these discussions and arguments. It's difficult. Whatever was difficult, you want now, or just, just keep quiet. Let's just forget. Let's turn back to troubles. 
you know, something, that kind of energy. You would like to go quiet with it, not really to rock the boat and fight and so. No, you want it nice, complete. Let's finish with this. That's your attitude in here. And temperance, you're balancing in here, two of roads. It's kind of decision to make. And you are balancing, I mean, in here. I love these two of cups. Look, you get the lover and the two of cups in here at the end of April. I mean, it seems that you are ready. You are happy. You feel good about it. You are one who loves. <laughs> you are balancing all that happens in here. I have to pull these cards up in here. Let me see the fool. Okay. And then... Seven of Cups. And then Two of Rods with Two of Swords. Hmm. And then Eight of Swords with Page of Cups. All right. Okay. It is Two of Wands in here. Influencing energy for your partner, for this person. For another person. <laughs> for another. <laughs> Anyway, two of wands, it's to, it has to make decision. This person is supposed to make decision. Somehow, it's another two in here. It's seven of cups, page of cups. Very much, very volatile energy for your partner, for this person that you're looking at. The full card down there. It could be somebody who's, um, let me tell you, somebody who's not your... Um, um, kind of the same skin color, different race, different religion, or completely different person, doing something completely different that you do. Like you're a scientist and this person is tarot reader, you see? <laughs> or something like that. Something unusual, you know, with this. Uh, uh, but you love it, you love it, you're excited about it. Nothing is clear, the moon, nothing is clear. Look, this is, this seems to me like it's either this was... Um, Kind of you just met or or um you're going out you met in somewhere in 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 a place which is unpleasant place S some in some hurtful situation actually brought you together it's not that you're hurting each other but the hurtful situation somebody a third party is actually in a, uh, this heartache situation some hurtful that brought you together somehow that's what I see in here. But yeah, um, it's it's a lovely beginning in here. N nothing certain yet. All right, as I said, it could be that you people are very different. Um, um, a gay relationship as well here, or as I said, something very unusual, something different, something, uh, um, uh, as I said, different race or different um, religion. Things like that for you guys. But you, you Gemini, you kind of like it. You like it. And yeah, um, even if it's even if it's some troublesome situation, I can now say that it could be that this person is supposed to perhaps change the job or move. That it's uh, beginning something else. That this person is uh, uh, putting the this structure for something else. And that you're not happy. You don't know how to deal with that now. How it's going to affect your relationship. That in fact, affecting your relationship in a very negative way. Alright. But then we're talking this person moving forward in its career. Or something like that. Alright. Could be two different situations. Could be many different situations for for you people but anyway I'm just trying to give you these options what it could be now moving forward as I said I already told you I like your energies Gemini it, it seems to me you all are ready to move forward in a loving way with this person you are all right you want this person somehow you are excited you've got love you've got look how balanced you are you, you are tolerant in here. You are one who wants peace, who doesn't want to fight. You want this relationship and you're trying by very gently, very gently to, you know, put the, the balance in this relationship, to keep the love intact. Whatever is happening around, you want your love to stay intact, okay? It is important that we love each other. If we don't 
fight and keep ourselves in check. We don't fight. Everything gonna be just fine. Something like that. You are kind of in that sort of mode. But something new, something uncertain definitely is happening. There is uncertainty, there is some sort of decision and I think it's related to your partner, that your partner is actually supposed to make decision and it could be something that can, call this, uh, that can cause this heartache. Maybe it's offers, your, your partner got an offer from overseas to go and uh, you know, work somewhere else you don't have to travel or move to another country or something else to change the situation in a rapid way that is really affecting your relationship. As I said, I was reading your uh, energies and I'm loving it. You understood what I, you understood what I said, I'm sure. Now the world is a completion. It is a completion. Um, seven of, seven, after this fool, seven of cups, I think, and, and two of swords later, your partner is kind of going crazy in here. You see, there is decision to be made. There is to a own, something that is very stable. Is it perhaps that you insisting on this exclusive relationship, it's just two of you, could be also, let's move forward, be ready for this relationship, if it's new relationship. But then the person down there is very indecisive. It doesn't, oh, what, I'm not sure. I expect something else. There are other opportunities. There are other options there for this person. And this person doesn't want to see if you put an option on a table, you know, you are balancing and this is two of roads. It's like you offering to this person um, solution, you know, let's move forward, let's make this sort of relationship start from somewhere, put it on a solid ground, let's see, two of us, only two of us, you see, but then this person is then indecisive, doesn't want to even see, doesn't want to discuss, it is to me, it seems to me like this person, Gemini, at this point has too many things happening in its, in, 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 in a life too many things are happening in life in this person and kind of doesn't even another decision to make it's kind of too much now for this person it's too much um, it's kind of I, I feel this chaotic energy like uh, um, you know perhaps because of this seven of, of uh, that every uh, seven of cups because everything is in a cloud not being certain about its own feelings Page of Cups also very volatile. Very at one point, at one moment, this is oh, very loving, love you, and that one, that and another, and next moment is unhappy, melancholic, volatile, and unsteady uh, emotional energy in here. You though, you up, you know exactly what you want. This person is very, very, very uncertain very uncertain relationship gets stuck in here it's uh, by the end of the month it will be stuck for a while i'm sure you want to move forward you want to work on it you want this relationship um, but somehow somehow there will be moment to decide about it At, i think by the end of the month you will see that this relationship is stuck eight of swords when you come to the point to see the card number eight, it cannot last long because this is the moment that you understand now. Okay, now both of you said, okay, this relationship has, we, we stuck with this relationship. We put it in the mud. What are we gonna do now? You want it. You want it nice. You want it equality. This is equality. This is healing. This is healing. This one as well, but a bit uncertain. This one, not a certain, but unstable. This is unstable one. You are the uh, uh, one who's stable, who knows exactly what. I think you will be moving. You'll get out. I mean, once it appears like this, it pops up in the relationship. It says you are. You've got this awareness, but it is willingness from both sides to move on, to get unstuck, to move on. To get it nice, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful feelings around this um, this relationship from both sides. Maybe you are understanding in here. You're very understanding. I wanted to say you may have to understand your partner. That's something very conflicting, emotionally conflicting. There, some really uncertain person doesn't want to look at it at all. 
perhaps you insisted uh, um, at this point into this um, um, somehow to um, put this to, to make uh, on, on making decision two of roses decision to make maybe you were insistent there but then it didn't work because this person wasn't ready for it maybe that's why you got into eight of swords situation but I'm sure you're gonna be moving on because it's lovely lovely emotions around it around it it's your understanding that you must move forward must get out of it anyway Taurus uh, oh, Taurus Gemini not Taurus I hope that you're gonna enjoy your your um, April month uh, I don't think the Taurus is uh, another person. Anyway, Gemini, enjoy it.